What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is um, week four's reading for sign of cancer. I apologize it is late. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, midhaven, Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay, so I got one channeled message in as I was meditating on your week four's energy. And the message I heard was serious regrets of the past. So you have to plug that in your life, however it resonates. It could be you having serious regrets of the past or somebody you're connected to having serious regrets of the past. Um, some kind of serious regret of the past energy. However, that resonates for you if it does resonate for you. Okay, Ooh, it was so dark in here. Hold on, I gotta go turn light on. It's really dark. For some, it's how they handle the situation. For some, it's getting to a relationship with the earth sign. Some cancers are about to redeem themselves in a huge way. Okay, well, that, okay, well, you go through bad self cancer. Okay, so for some of you guys, now we're getting nitty gritty, just saying. So for some of you guys, it's um, how you handle the situation in the past. That could be anything. It could be personal. It could be professional. It could be... Offering of a job, not offering of a job. It could be a neighbor situation. It could be a family member. It, I mean, the list can go on. It could be any kind of serious situation of the past. Um, however, that resonates for you. But uh, I heard for some, you're about to redeem yourself soon. So I think you're about to help make wrongs right in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, for some, I heard for some. So I don't feel all of you guys are about to, but some of you. And for some, you have serious regrets of the past because you got into a relationship with the earth sign. Um, for some, you could still be in the relationship with the earth sign. Or for some, it was a fling or a one-night stand or third party or what have you. Um, earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midhaven, or Jupiter. If that resonates for you, masculine or feminine, earth sign. Okay? And I feel that's some of your serious regrets of the past. And I heard for some, you're about to make it right soon, amend it soon. So maybe for some, you're about to, um, if you're currently still in this relationship with this earth sign and you're that unhappy, maybe you end things with them or you talk it out with them or see if it can be made better or, or what have you. I mean, I don't, however you're going to handle it, but you've got some serious regrets going on if this resonates. Judgment upright, four cups upright, six of cups reverse, temperance, Upright. A particular cancer's partner is about to get on their ass for not doing enough around the house. It's about to trigger this cancer in a huge way because their partner is very lazy. And they know this. Oh, man. Oh, snap. We're getting into it now. Okay. So if this resonates with you, whoo, um, you have a partner. It could be an earth sign. I didn't hear that specifically in this one. But for some, it, I strongly feel it could be an earth sign because we got that message earlier about uh, regrets of being in a relationship with earth sign, whether it's a current relationship or a past relationship. But you play in your life how it fits. But if it, whether it's an earth sign or not an earth sign, you're in a current partnership with somebody. I heard your partner's about to get pissed because they're not feeling like you're not doing enough around the house. But I heard your partner is very, very, very lazy. So I think you might give too much to this partner. I think you might do too much for them. Because um, I heard they're lazy from spirit. So they're lazy as hell. I think you do too much for them. Um, is exactly what I think. And you're, it sounds like you're about to slow it down a little bit and take some you time and self-care time, which everybody should do that. Absolutely. Um, but it's going to piss off the partner because they're used to your high standards of you always doing, 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 doing for them is exactly what I'm feeling here. The energy I'm feeling. 
This cancer is about to really, really stand up in a huge way, tactfully. Okay. Well, okay. Well, this sounds good. So I heard you're about to stand up in a huge way tactfully. So you're not going to yell. You're not going to scream. You're not going to go cray cray. You're going to say what you need to say in a tactful way. Probably very blunt and to the point. Um, you can say what you need to say tactfully, blunt and to the point and not be yelling and screaming and going berserk, basically. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, well, you go with your bad self. So judgment, your partner's judging you because basically you give too much to a relationship is what I'm feeling for who this is for. But you're about to give them a wake-up call. Four of cups upright, you need a break. You need a break. Six of cups reversed, they're not happy because you want a break. For some, it could be like a staycation or maybe you just watch TV three nights in a row and they're pissed about that. I mean, I'm just using those as examples. You plug it in how it resonates. Temperance upright, there needs to be balance to the situation. That's you standing up to your partner. I heard it in a very tactful way. Um, so, so I feel for some, and my, let me see if I hear anything else. I feel for some that they're, they're going to back down. Several series of chain of events are going to occur with the, these situations. For some, it will be worked out. For some, it will trigger your partner in a huge negative way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. My God. So several series of chain of events are going to... There's two or more of you guys that it sounds like it's happening to in the universe. For some of you guys, it's you when you talk to your partner, it's going to resolve it, it sounds like. But for some, it's not. And your partner's going to get very triggered. So they're going to be pissy. It sounds like they're selfish, whoever this is for, for category B. They're very selfish and they're not, um, they're going to be pissed because you're standing up for yourself. Um, and they're going to get triggered in a negative way because they're not getting what they want, which is manipulating you. Um, so I think negative series of shame events are going to occur there. But, you know, if you just still stand your ground, you know, Everybody needs a break, man. Everybody needs a break. You can't expect somebody to be a freaking workhorse. You don't shouldn't marry somebody or be in a relationship with somebody to be a work, workhorse. And that's just the truth. A cancer is getting a huge wake-up call. I heard a cancer is getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, I'm serious. You're going to wake-up call about something here, your personal life, or both, or something. But I'm serious. That's why I've been single so long. Because, yeah, um... You know, I've got duties and stuff around my house, too. My house ain't perfect by any freaking stretch of imagination. But it's my home. I own it. and Or I pay mortgage on it, rather. And I, it's my home. I don't have anybody telling me. If I want to go watch TV five hours in there on the couch, which I don't do that. But if I wanted to, I don't have anybody bitching and griping at me. Is what I'm saying. If I wanted to go sleep eight hours in the bed, I don't have anybody bitching and griping at me. I like it like that, is what I'm trying to say. Six of Wands upright, Eight of Wands upright. A very significant sting is going to happen, occur soon. A particular cancer is going to be involved. Redemption of the community. Oh my God. Whoa. Cancer. My God. This is kind of cool. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a, a particular cancer is about to be involved in a sting soon. So I think you work in the police force is exactly what I think. I think you work in the freaking police force or you're an investigator or maybe you're chief of police or some or retired police and you are communicating with these people about the sting or something like that. Some kind of law enforcement energy, whether you're actually the person stinging the people or communicating with the people, stinging the people, however that plugs in, <laughs> kind of cool, just saying. But I heard basically um, some kind of sting energy, however you're plugged into this is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I heard redemption of the community. So it's going to bring redemption to the community. Uh, sounds like your community, whatever community you reside in. In some shape, form, or fashion, 
sounds like the community was wrong in some shape, form, or fashion, or somebody in the community was wrong in some shape, form, or fashion, and y'all are about to redeem it through esteem. This is going to be very, very, very significant sting. This cancer intuitively knows it. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug in how it resonates. Sting energy heavy. I heard it's going to be a very, very, very significant sting. And you're highly intuitive that this resonates with you, whether you're physically the one actually going to be involved in this sting, or you are like supervisor or boss or chief of police or whoever over these people about to go do the sting um, or somebody communicating with somebody about to do the sting. However, that resonates, but I heard it's going to be very successful. It's going to be very successful and um, very integral for the community and other series, major series of chain events are going to occur after this. Okay, I heard in other major series of chain events are going to occur after this. So, wow, this sounds like this thing is going to be very integral in your community, Cancer, if this resonates with you. Wow. Sounds like it might be the beginning point of something bigger is my deductive logic, reasoning, and intuition on this. I didn't hear that, but that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it's going to be the start of something like opening a bag of worms that need to be opened and aired out, and it's going to lead to other series of chain events, is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. My gosh. All right, we'll do one more. I'm watching the time because I'm going to get my kids tonight. So, spirit messages you have for the collective. King of Wands upright, King of Cups upright. A particular cancer is about to be asked to be part of a homosexual threesome. Use your best intuition. For some, it's your own co-workers. Okay. Okay, cancer. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. I heard, um, at least for one of you guys in the universe, you're about to be asked to be part of a homosexual threesome, is what I heard. So homosexual threesome, so that could be masculine, all masculine, all femme. You plug it in how it resonates, um, but it's threesome energy, so three people involved of the same sex. Um, I heard for some of you guys, it's your coworkers are about to ask you to do this. Um, I heard use your best intuition and logic and reasoning, and yes, please God do. Um, if you think it's going to cause weirdness in your workplace, um, you know, Everybody has free will and you can choose to do it. But if you feel it's going to be weird, I wouldn't do it. Just saying, I wouldn't do it. I don't do anything with coworkers ever, 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 ever. Um, I had one co-working relationship and I was 18 years old. And that's the only one I've had. I'm 38. And I haven't done it since then for reasons is what I'm saying. So, but of course, everybody has free will. I'm only telling you my personal experience because there's a reason I haven't had a co-working relationship dated anybody in a co-working relationship since I was 18 years old because it causes too much drama. Now, this is not dating. This is strict. This sounds strictly, strictly sexual. But if you think you're going to be imagining somebody butt ass naked or like their helicopter flying out at work after you have this orgy type S energy going on, you might want to think about that before you actually do it is what I'm trying to say. Just saying, just saying. Especially if they're not like well endowed or something. <laughs> or they get pissed because you they want you to do it again. And then they start trying to blackmail your ass. Um, you cut it off and then you work with them and then you feel obligated to keep doing it. Um, to me, that's some food for thought. That's why I strictly do not date anybody I work with, period. Because of blackmail energy, because of people feeling a position of high authority over you, feeling, oh, they're going to get you in sexually, and then they've got power over you because they work with you. Um, but you have free will. You have free will. Desire, drive, and motivation, they want they want to see you naked, man. They want some of that yum-yum. Giving, loving, and kind to you, probably in the moment, though, because it sounds very sexual and not heart chakra related. 
So you, everybody has free will. You can take it or leave it. Just saying, just saying. We'll do one more. Fear messages you have a son of cancer. A particular cancer is about to expose a torrent and a Pisces. Secret love affair. They're thieves. And it's hurt a family in a huge way. This cancer is about to expose it to the right person. It's going to be very effective. Holy shit, cancer, you go with your bad self. If that resonates with you, oh my God, okay. So you go, you go with your bad self. If this resonates with you, of course, only take the messages that resonate. Um, a cancer is about to expose, I heard a um, very toxic porn in Piscean. Um, they're thieves. They're thieves and they're toxic and they're secret lovers. So they not only stole money from a family, but they secretly, they banged the boots secretly. It sounds like they don't want people to know, but somehow, you know, you know, you know, cancer, um, but they're trying to keep it hush hush. So I don't know if you're a family member or you are um, a neighbor and seeing them knocking the boots or um, how you know that they're secretly knocking the boots, but you do is what I'm saying. Um, but I heard you're about to expose it to the right person. And it's, um, it's, I heard it's going to be very effective when you expose it to the right person. Um, so you go with your bad self. And it's going to create many other series of train of events negatively for these two. Know this. Okay. And I heard it's going to create many other series of train of events negatively for those two. So for the Tauran and the Pisces that's been knocking boots secretly. They can have Taurus or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Haven, Jupiter. If you, that resonates with you. Um, for some, they could be your coworkers, possibly for some, um, for some, you could be a partner of one of these people, um, and you found out about a secret third party or something like that. Um, I'm trying to figure out where that would plug in, but, um, somehow you know about it. You know about it. You're about to expose it to the right person. It's going to create positive series of chain events. I heard they really, um, they stole from a family and it's hurt this family in a huge way, but you know about this. So however you know about it. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wheel of Fortune upright, the sun upright. Cycles are about to change for a cancer in a huge way. They're about to turn the wheel themselves. Start working on their own happiness some hobbies some traveling some reaching out to their twin flame okay so you plug in how it resonates well this is good cancer if this resonates with you um you're about to start turning the wheel and creating cycle change for yourself so I think it's going to create tower moments for other people, but positive tower moment for you, probably negative for other people, but you have to do what's best for your happiness. Um, and that's just the truth, real, real. Um, just saying. But you're about to turn the wheel. You are about to turn the wheel. So you are going to be the wheel turner. And um, for some, it's hobbies. For some, it is um, traveling. For some, it's reaching out to your twin flame. Um, for some, it could be two plus of those things. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So this is you turning the wheel manually. It can either go in your favor or not in your favor, but in this situation, it sounds like it's about to go totally in your favor. Hobbies and traveling, please sign me up. Just saying, just saying. Um, and then some of you guys is reaching out to your twin flame. So for some, I don't feel you've connected with your twin flame in a really long time. I didn't hear that, but that's my deductive reasoning and logic. Um, that's what I'm feeling. And it's going to make you very happy. For some, you could be dealing with a Leo. If you are, they can have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, and Jupiter, or not. But that's the happiness card because you are turning the wheel yourself. So you go with your bad self. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. Uh, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular cancer has connections in the news station. They're about to use them in a huge way. And it's going to be very effective. Oh my God. Okay. 
So I heard a particular cancer has connections in the news station and they're about to uh, use them and they're going to be very effective. So if this resonates with you, you have connections in the news station in some shape, form or fashion, whatever news station is in your city or town or province or um, what, what have you. Um, but I heard they're going to be very effective. So it sounds like you've got some good connections in the news station and that could be you turning the wheel and uh, making um, happiness, creating happiness for you or for somebody else. That could go with that too, I feel. Um, it sounds like you're going to use this for positive and not for negative. So turning the wheel in a positive way, manually turning the wheel, reaching out to your connections in the news station and creating happiness either for you or for somebody else or both. However, that resonates. Um, that's what I'm thinking. All right. I love y'all. I hope this helped. I love y'all. Namaste.